Hello everybody, welcome to Unshackled where we talk about money, motivation and mental health. Today we are going to talk about passive income strategies. By the end of the video, you will know 5 ways to invest your money and passively earn money back. My intentions for making these videos are to help people on some knowledge I have to share and make sure everyone else around me um, knows about the strategies. When people Google passive income, free money online, how to become a millionaire in, in, in a day, it doesn't work that way. So passive income, when I'm talking about it, it means that you got to put your effort and investment with time, energy, money up front. That way, in the future, you won't have to work as much as you do at a 9 to 5 job. In simple words, it's going to take time and patience. It's not a rich, quick scheme. So passive income, it takes time. It takes patience and hard work initially. It's not something you start and you leave and you're like, oh, where's my money? It doesn't work that way. You have to put time, your patience and hard work up front. So the first way that you can make passive income is the classic old real estate. Let's talk about a apartment first. So those of you guys are who have an apartment, you know, if you have a three bedroom, two bedroom apartment, if you usually one bedroom and you know, you're storing stuff in the other or there's nobody in there, you can rent it out to a friend or rent it out to, you know, put it out there at work or in public and you know, rent it out. Before you rent it out, make sure you ask your landlord if that's okay and that you're going to charge them. Most of the time landlords are okay with that, but sometimes they are rules. So make sure you don't do anything illegal. So this way, when you rent out a room, this person is going to help you pay your rent. So how this works is, so there's an apartment, you have two rooms. You are currently paying for this room and this room. So the total amount is, you know, a thousand dollars. But if you rent it out for 600, you only have to pay 400 with your money and this person pays the 600 so you're just paying this much and the remaining 600 which you were supposed to pay in your apartment rent you can use that money for something else another way you can uh, make passive income through real estate is from your home or your house uh, if you have a, a three bedroom house with two bathrooms you know you have a three bedroom two bath you only use two bedrooms maybe you can rent out the third and you know make them pay suppose your mortgage is two thousand dollars make them pay a thousand so this person pays half your mortgage and they're not taking half your house away they're just taking a room and for those of you who have not purchased a house or you know are planning to purchase a house you can always purchase a house with three to five percent down if you're a first time home buyer and when you purchase that house make sure you purchased a three bed two bath or a four bed two bath that way you can live in one room rent out the other three rooms and make the, the make them pay for your mortgage plus some extra money most people don't know about this they think oh, i'm going to buy my first house it's going to be my house only i will live in it but you know what it decreases their potential to make more money and passive income for more about knowing on how to buy a house for a first time home buyer, click on this link below. I'll put it in the link on the video I made about how to buy a home for first time homeowners. The second way you can make a passive income is through dividend stocks. What is a dividend stock? You know, you've heard about the stock market. So this is a kind of stock where the company will pay you uh, a percentage of their profits. A good example is Ford, you know, the Ford uh, trucks and cars, they pay around 2.2% on their yield uh, profits. So go to your investment app uh, profile and purchase a Ford stock. And when you read about it, you'll see that they do give technically 2.26% on their yield profits. So there's many dividend stocks. Ford is just one kind. So if you put it, your money into five or 10 different kinds, you know, it's again a risk. It's not for sure like a bank account where they'll pay you 0.01%. You know, it, it, it depends on how the company is doing. And you might see a couple of months it's going down, a couple of months it's going up. But in a long run, you know, if you look at the stock market, it has grown significantly. If you need more information on dividends, just go to Google and search uh, most high yielding uh, dividends on Google and research on them. Just don't blindly buy it because I want to make sure 
I know what I'm buying is going to build our future or this company is going to last. Like Tesla, if someone does not believe in Tesla, there's no point in putting money in Tesla or cryptocurrency. I believe in cryptocurrency and if it is me in the future, I would want to pay with cryptocurrency. That's why I believe in it and I see a potential, uh, you know, f a big future for this kind of things. So same with dividend stocks. Make sure you research what you buy and you have an idea of what the company is and what it's bringing to you. So the risk of dividend stocks or the stock market is pretty you know common it's not going to be like for sure are you sure you're going to make the money no it's a risk that's why you need to diversify your portfolio on where you're putting your money and you know expect that there's going to be a dip or expect that you might lose money so it's not going to be you will make money out of this but there's high chances based on history this means don't put all your money or all your eggs in one basket you need to divide it in case you know one blows out or one is all you know lost all your money you don't, you don't lose your entire income or your years of investing is not gone to waste so the third way you can make passive income is by creating an ebook or a physical book let me get you to the expert for this so when you create a book you really should create something that you're passionate about because that'll help you spurt ideas and write more stuff you're going to be able to give more the more passionate you are about something so don't choose a topic that you're not very passionate about or something that you don't know really well when in reality it's the skills you have that are going to really um, make a great book for you because you're just going to put more of an effort into it so the book I wrote was about my experiences with um, anxiety and kind of conquering those mental health things. Because if I were to write a book on finance, let's be honest, Stan's more the finance guy here. So I was just able to rapidly fire ideas and type. It's also important to hire an editor and pay them so that you have like a quality content that's grammatically correct as well because if you don't people aren't going to want to buy it but yes ultimately make sure you make content on something you are interested in because if not you're not going to do it passionately and it's not going to be quality so that's how you know you create a book and initially it's hard up front you need a month on gathering the content making the outline and i'm going to make a video on how to self-publish a book easily on amazon anyone can do this you don't require any technical skills you don't have to be perfect at grammar you know we paid an editor an amount and they caught all the grammatical errors and gave a lot of suggestions so the main thing is your story your idea which you know will influence other people or bring some value to someone else but initially if you put all this together and publish a book this is going to give you a return in the long run for years and years if you you know market and sell your book you're going to get a small percent out of it in addition to the book you can create a course and if you have a skill which you know someone does not have like if you know how to cook you know you can create a course on you know how to cook Indian food I love that's my favorite food sorry I'm biased so if you know how to cook a certain type of food and you know you're good at it you know you can make a course on you know training other people and people will pay you if you have value in your information if you just make a course you know in a week and day and you just want to speed it up and get it out there no people are not gonna buy that if you take your time you know at something you're good at and if you are the person who's saying I'm not good at anything I'm just this boring person I don't have any skills no you do have a skill ask your friends or your family members what you're good at Ask them what what do I do the best what what skill I have that someone does not have and I bet you have 10 skills which you did not know about so the fourth way you can make passive income is through YouTube make a YouTube channel you see this background over here these lights this board the lamp at the back you know I just put some stuff together and you can make a YouTube channel it's not gonna make money right away but it's putting our content up front creating an audience and eventually you know giving them value and uh, there's many ways you can make money through YouTube and you know that's one way YouTube is a long-term goal uh, for passive income um, 
you know you got to create something which people like you can't be doing boring stuff making taking a laptop camera and just you know talking you need to bring some value to people that way people want to watch your videos and you know it is one of the passive income streams in a way you can make money on youtube through adsense google adsense you know when you open youtube you watch a video and you see this ad pop up and you have an option to skip it or skip it in 10 seconds so basically those ad companies are giving a portion to the youtube creator and once your videos go you know you, as years go along it goes viral you will get paid for a video you made two years ago you don't have to actively work for it which is technically a passive income so the fifth way you can make some passive income is teaching your skills by teaching a skill you're saving somebody time you know in for me to learn cooking by myself it's going to take me maybe five years but if you have a skill to teach somebody about cooking and you tell them I can teach you how to cook in three weeks they want to save time so they will pay you for your skill so now that you have a couple customers and your skill is pretty valuable as time goes you can hire a second or third person to help you and teach them the skill or you know evaluate how they do your skill interview them and tell them to teach your clients you can tell them you know you can make money by teaching this just give me like five or ten percent um and you're making that passive income without actively working again this takes time it's not easy money it's not easy way to you know become rich no it's you put an effort up front why why do we do all this time is flying so use this for your good when time flies so fast learn a skill start a business do one of these things that way in 10 years when you look and say time flew by so fast you're like wait my business is up here or my passive income is up here so that's it for today's video i have my wife here hello so this book which was one of our uh points in this whole video of making passive income if you want to read my book this will give you an idea of how I was able to tackle my anxiety and make a better life for myself in becoming a registered nurse so if you're looking for a way to follow your dreams but something's holding you back this book will help you please like and subscribe and share and give value to <laughs>